Hello everybody. I hope everyone's doing well. I haven't had much time to paint lately. I actually finished up these three nights almost a month ago when I haven't had time to post a video. Um, March, April, May on the farm are uh, a couple of my three busiest months of the year. So I've been getting baby lambs, baby calves, getting the fields ready to plant, uh, corn and soybeans. and um, So lots going on. And um, but anyway, so I finally had a few minutes here. I kind of wanted to share what I have been working on uh, back then. And um, yeah, three more nights um, from Games Workshop. Uh, these are, as I've said before, the same project I've been working on, Bretonian Nights, um, from the uh, mid-90s. And um, these are Knights of the Realm. And um, I'm still trying to make every single night with unique heraldry and a unique helm and um, so so far I've been able to do that this this first one here in the red um, is actually uh, the yellow on top there is actually from the sixth edition nights these are these are fifth edition that I've been working on there that that's from the sixth edition nights from the early 2000s and I had cut it off of one of those helmets and was able to fasten it to here uh, so that I could use some of those same plastic knights that I've had but still keep them unique. Uh, so I've been happy with that. Real happy with how these guys turned out. Lots of fun. Um, lots of fun to be creative, use different color combinations, um, try, try uh, different colors that you're not comfortable working with. So that's been a lot of fun, trying to come up with unique heraldry looking through books, looking at pictures online, and it's um, been, been a really fun project. But uh, uh, this front one here, um, pull him up and get a little closer look at him. The, um, the heraldry on him is actually um, decals, 6th edition decals. Um, but when I put them on, I, I paint them, paint them and shade them. Um, to just kind of make them pop a little bit more and kind of blend in with my painting style uh, so they don't look like decals. Um, was able to mimic uh, by hand on the little shield on his helm. Basically tried to copy the same um, same heraldry onto the helmet which was fun to do. And I don't really quite see it but I mimicked it on his on the front of his uh, tunic as well. Yeah, I was trying to do that. And so yeah, I kind of kept it simple with red and white, red edging or white edging, and um, yeah, real, real happy with that guy there. So that was that was a fun one. Um, this one here is uh, a metal knight on a plastic horse, and he's um, the decals that, that I used for him were actually from the mid '90s um, for the fifth edition knights. And uh, they're fairly easy to find on eBay, and if you're kind of patient, you can find them at, at reasonable prices too. And and I haven't had trouble with getting them to work. Uh, I do use uh, Micro Saw and Micro Set to help get them to blend in to the uh, to the miniature better, so that you don't see the paper and the outline of the paper. And then of course I paint over the top too to kind of blend it in, so that they don't look like uh, don't look so much like decals anyway. Um, so anyway, yep, that's that's that guy there. Real happy with him as well. Um, and then lastly, the green and white one here. Um, again, these decals are also from uh, an old sheet from the 90s, 5th edition sheet. And... Um, yeah, real real happy with how he came out too. Keeping them unique, um, making the pennants on the top of tops of the uh, lances uh, just out of paper, uh, dipping them in glue to fold them or you know get them to uh, look more natural, like they're uh, like they're f flowing in the wind, but also uh, get them to be somewhat sturdy. So that's worked out well. And then I have magnetized the bases. And I did, to kind of finish this unit up, I did uh, 
these front three nights are some that I'd already painted, actually painted quite a while ago. Uh, these these two right here are actually some that I painted, uh, what, like 18 years ago, something like that. Um, so, uh, they're good enough to match in with what I'm doing, so I've, I've kept them. But I made the movement tray, magnetized, so that uh, I can uh, just rank the guys up in here and not have to fight having them tip off when you when you're moving them up over terrain and stuff so there's right there guys is another six-man unit done um, for now I'm calling it uh, I made the six-man tray because uh, like when I do some of the higher level nights like the grail nights or the questing nights I might only have six in the unit but these nights of the realm uh, I you can use them in groups of six but I might uh, might expand it to ten and include a, a standard bearer, musician, and a champion. Um, but I figured I'd move build this movement tray anyway because I'd need a, a six cavalry unit movement tray. So uh, so it won't be wasted. But at least that kind of kind of finishes up that unit um, for now. So um, anyway, well I hope uh, I just kind of want to share that where it got to be completely 100 years ago when I painted these. But um, anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Everybody's hanging in there with the whole virus thing going on. Um, trying to keep up with everybody's videos. I uh, just haven't had a lot of time. I'm trying to watch them when I can here and there. Uh, really enjoying what everybody's doing. Um, so uh, anyway, everybody keep up the good work. Keep your spirits up. We're all in this together. And... Uh, We'll come out the other side. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.